What's that? It's a convenience store. Oh, they sell convenience there. Hi, I'd like some convenience, please. Don't mind her. She's batshit insane. Rawr. Now just replace the word convenience with vengeance. Hey, what's that? It's a vengeance factory. They make vengeance there. Hi, I'd like some vengeance, please. <sighs> That's one of my favorite comic strips of all time. The Waffen SS are the toughest soldiers in the German war machine. You're about to go up against the best of them. They're no match for me. It's time to put our theories about the V2 to the test. As you know, the rockets are controlled by... As you know, we think the rockets are controlled by a navigational gyroscope that's programmed with the target's coordinates before launch. Procure a copy of the V2 schematics and analyze them. They should prove us right or wrong about the gyro control. If our assumptions are correct, you'll need to calculate a new course and then recalibrate the gyro accordingly. Yes, because as any aeronautic engineer can tell you, with just a quick glance at schematics you've never seen before, you can deduce gyroscopic control mechanisms, as well as how to program the gyroscopic control. Your objective, bring the rocket down on top of the facility. Well, that's pretty easy. Uh, just break the gyroscopic control. Rocket goes up, rocket comes down. Again, his French is atrocious, but our friend Dr. Gronick seems to indicate they've developed the experimental warhead three times the damage at the same payload weight. This is true. Almost everything in the facility will be destroyed by the impact. So in addition to the actual schematics, be sure to locate a copy of the Nordhausen scientist roster. Fun, fun, fun. All right, we got three things today that have pissed me off, and so I have to go over them. Um, we're going to start with the one that's my fault. We got out of class early today. Oh, I hate this level. There's so many little nooks and crannies all over the place. There you are. Sweet! I did not expect him to die in one shot. Okay. Um... Hey, what? Bad guys? Crap. Where are you? Let's get back to a gun that's not gonna kill me as fast as it kills them. Alright, I see you guys. I see you, I see you. I know you're true. Are you dead? No, you're not. Now you are. Good. No, don't switch guns, stupid. Alright, so today we got out of class early because my one professor was... Uh, he had to teach two lecture hours worth of lecture, but he only had one lecture hour worth of material on it. So, uh, they brought in my other professor to do a review. Wow, that was really lucky of our homework assignment for pharmacokinetics. Well, I got all the answers for pharmacokinetics right, so I didn't really need to sit around and find out how he figured out the answers to the questions, especially because this is the same guy who put insufficient information to solve as one of the questions, uh, as one of the answers, so... really didn't want to sit around and listen to him for a while. Okay, there's this is badness right here. That was really good for me. That was really good for me. Wow. I didn't get hit. Look at all that damage I did. So I left. And, but at the end of class, because I wasn't expecting our first professor to finish early, I was scanning my laptop. I run a once-weekly uh, virus and spyware scan. And I was right in the middle of that when class ended. So I just unplugged my computer. And of course it has a battery, so it kept going. You... Jerks. You were supposed to be standing next to those explosive canisters when I shot them. And uh, headed out to my car. Now what I was supposed to do is when I got to my car, I was going to pull my computer back out let once you know the scan had finished and then turn it off. Well, I forgot to do that. So it was sitting in my backpack until I got home. And uh, let, me note, let me note that I got out of school at 3 o'clock and I got home at about 8.30. So for five hours, my computer was sitting in um, like a laptop case, nice and insulated and difficult for heat dissipation. And uh, the complete, the entire battery, I should not have grabbed that. Oh man, I regret that already. The complete battery had run out. This thing came out of there so hot, I pretty much burned my hand. It was real bad. Come here. You know you want to. Thank you. That was very much appreciated. Now, make sure there's nobody else in here. Hey, that looks suspiciously like... Strangermerm. Scientist roster found. Alright. 
So yeah, my computer, I'm afraid, I'm gonna have to, t I know it was working when I pulled it out, because I had to, you know, open it up to turn it off. But I'm hoping that when I start it up tomorrow, it still works. It should. I'm thinking it's going to resist the heat a little bit. So that's my fault, and I'm really pissed about that. Second thing today that's pissed me off, not my fault, the power was out forever today. Luckily, I was gone most of that time. You jerk! Way too much damage. Oh good, there's a first aid kit right here. And, uh, like, when I got home, it was about 8 o'clock, 8.30. And the power came on a little bit after 9. Ah, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. There we go. I'm about to sneeze. But my roommates, uh, who came back a little bit ago, told me that the power was actually out since about 4 or 5. Somewhere in that range. And for some, you know, the power should not be going out as often as it does here. I know I've mentioned a couple times in videos that the power has gone out. Well, I've been here one year and the power has gone out half a dozen times. I've lived in Arizona for 20 years, and the power's gone out half a dozen times. Where did you guys come from? Or, well, I guess there was just one of you. And I guess you came from in here. Oh, hey, who's shooting? Who's shooting? Who wants a piece of this? Somebody over there? Huh? I still hear gunfire. So that must not be where you are. I'm afraid. I'm using the bazooka, but I should be very afraid of the bazooka. Boom! Ha ha ha! That was no aim right to the face bazooka edge. Bazooka edge is a word. I checked. No. Ah. So yeah, I'm upset with the power uh, failure that keeps happening here. It's upsetting. So that pissed me off. Now the third thing that pissed me off, and this thing really pissed me off... Where are you? Where are you that you're running at me? Because I know as soon as I round a corner, you're going to unload a machine gun worth of bullets into me. Okay, you're not here. You shouldn't be behind me, so that means you're in front of me. Somewhere. Maybe. Possibly. There you are. Thank you for running right into my line of fire. Nothing up my sleeve. Uh-oh, more guys. Hey, bad guys coming. Oh my god, go to Jeffcon 62. I know I've tell said that joke before, but I really do love that uh, video. I don't know where bad guys are. Let's look around. So today we learned about uh, acetylcholinesterase inhibitors. And that means we also learned about organophosphates, which are irreversible or can be irreversible acetylcholinesterase inhibitors. And wouldn't you know it, after uh, school I went to the gym and then I went to Subway and I was reading the paper, and some jerkwad in Afghanistan, even in Kabul, which is the capital, which is supposed to be safe, has been, uh, they think, has been pumping uh, organophosphates into schools that teach girls, or if it's a co-ed school, only when the girls are there, such that they're not hard hurting the boys at all. Are you dead? Now you're dead. There's another one of you, though, and I don't know where you are. Okay, are you up there? Yep. Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, well. I need a precision weapon for this. That'll do nicely. So, yeah, they've been, uh... Now, they don't have a suspect or anything, but somebody's been pumping gas, and it's uh, organophosphate. It's an insecticide, uh, and it really screws people up. It's very bad, and if you get particular kinds of it or a particular dosage of it, um, it can kill you rather quickly. The antidote that you use for it has to be taken within... Uh, the sooner the better, basically, is how the antidote works. And that's just sick. Now, luckily, apparently, they've been using doses or a particular type of toxin that is not very potent. So, so far, most of the girls have just been getting... Um, 
like headaches, dizziness, and actually a lot of them have been fainting, and fainting is never a good thing either. Get, ah! 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 Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I know I passed a first aid kit somewhere. I'll find it in a minute. Okay, nothing down there yet. Or actually, I just heard him. He's probably gonna come running up behind me now. Yep. Oh my gosh, everybody died. Thank you. Now, where's that first aid kit that I forgot where it was? Not there. We. All right, there it is. First aid, please. Get in there. Get out of there. And in here, that little box is our gyroscope, and that means that there's a scientist in here. And this is a scientist who apparently does his work with a machine gun. Press the button to open. Come on. There we go. Gyro guidance system sabotaged, and then it closes back up. Because, you know, and I, they don't let me close the door behind me, so you know that they know that I've been in there. It's not a big secret. Wait, what's in here? I've been in here, apparently, too. And this is where I came from, so let's turn around and get moving. <sighs> right this way. And now, finally, down here. I'm hoping for some more health, because I don't like how much health I'm at right now. Let's see if I can see anybody. Maybe. Oh! Right there. Snipe him out before I have to get all shot up. Ah, 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 ah. I don't like the sounds. Man, how... You guys are too good of a shot when you're running at me. I don't really have time to react. There should be health here. Yes. Okay. Nothing up here. And what about over here? I'm afraid. It's probably going to be... There are, well, I know for sure that there are guys this way. Yep, right there. There we go. Go ahead and use that explosives to your advantage. There's another one. Make sure he doesn't shoot you. Oh, hey, there's two guys in there. And the one guy ran around like a chicken with his head cut off. I'm afraid. Let that hand grenade take care of those two for me. I love it when Nazis kill themselves. It saves me a bullet. Um, ah, there you are. Ooh, good. I got him with the first shot. That guy... That guy was lucky. Wow. That guy was terrible. And I mean, he did terrible, terrible damage to me. That's the exit, which means I'm kind of screwed on health, but oh well. It's good enough. We can leave with this way. So yeah, those are the three things that pissed me off today. I'm not feeling too bad. We had a test this morning, and uh, I know I missed two. Movie time! This rare color footage captured by the Allies shows the early days of the German V-2 rocket program. Capable of hitting targets as far away as London, these so-called vengeance weapons were of great interest to the high command. One can only imagine the devastation if the Nazis had succeeded with their heavy water research and perfected an atomic warhead. Just as the ME-163 had ushered in the jet fighter, the V-2 heralded the beginning of the missile age, the implications of which would carry through to all the generations of mankind to follow. This is one of the rare levels, yeah, I didn't have enough health, where you get a movie, but it's not the end, because the next level is the last level of the game, and uh, there might be some swearing. That's how annoying it is. But we'll save that until next time, so bye-bye.